Hello and welcome to my channel everybody, I'm Steph. I wanted to film my September TBR or to be, to be read pile today and I kind of thought I wanted to show you this nice stack of books I wanted to read until I realised that all the books I'm planning to read in September are electronic. Basically I'm going travelling to Krakow for a week and so that involves a 26 hour there and back journey. So I'm going to be reading a lot of audiobooks, or rather listening to a lot of audiobooks, as well as reading books on my Kindle, simply because I don't want to be carrying around heavy bags with books. I mean, actually, I would love to carry around heavy bags with books, but I think my back and my shoulders might kill me after that. So let's get into my TBR for September. First, there's a book that I've actually already started, which is Hidden Figures by Margaret Lee Shetterly. I watched the film twice now and absolutely loved it and so the second time I watched it I realised that there is still so much that I don't know about these women that I really needed to read the book. It's amazing what the background is of all this, how just because of their skin colour and their gender they were so discriminated against. There are some things in there that I absolutely cannot believe, like how if you married you could no longer be a teacher. It just makes no sense to me. So I really want to continue with this book. Hopefully the library will still have it because I actually borrowed it off my local library. But so I'm hoping to be able to read this soon. My trip to Krakow will actually involve going to the Auschwitz concentration camp. And while I've been reading a lot of books about this topic already, there are three in particular that I want to read in September as part of this journey. So first I want to re-listen to an audiobook that I listened to earlier this year, which is The Librarian of Auschwitz by Antonio Iturbe. I'm guessing that's how you pronounce his name. It is actually the real-life experience of an Auschwitz prisoner, a girl named Dieter Krauss, who tried to bring the magic of books into Auschwitz and risked her life to do so. I absolutely loved this audiobook when I listened to it the first time round. And on my Goodreads account, I actually wrote, when I finished it, that I did not know how to put my feelings into words. And I'm guessing that will still be true this time around, but I think it'll be very, very different listening to the audiobook while also being in the place where all this happened. The second Auschwitz trip book is Primo Levi's If This Is A Man. I don't really know anything about this book other than Primo Levi is an Auschwitz survivor and that this is his story. And lastly for this trip, I wanted to read Desmond and Fur Tutu's book, The Book of Forgiving, The Fourfold Path for Healing Ourselves and Our World. Because this whole question about Auschwitz has been making me think so much about what the limits of forgiveness are. And I believe that Desmond Tutu tried to deal with this a little bit in this book. So I'm really curious to see what his thoughts on that topic are. On to some maybe more light-hearted books that I'm planning to listen to on the coach journey. Number one of that is The Eye of Minds, which is part of the Mortality Doctrine by James Dasher, who is the author of The Maze Runner, and I know nothing about, but I saw it on my local library overdrive, and so I downloaded the audiobook, and I'm hoping to be entertained for quite a while, because I actually downloaded the entire trilogy, so I should not get bored on that journey. Next I got Trouble with Lycan by John Wyndham. And I think it must have been around a year ago or so when I started reading John Wyndham and absolutely loved his style of writing, which is pretty bizarre because it is 1950s English, which to modern day ears sounds really, really strange. But in some weird way, it just feels really comfy to me. And so whenever I need a little pick-me-up, I love reading John Wyndham books which are also dystopian and just weird and all that, but somehow I feel much better reading them. Lastly, I'm really, really excited about reading the third of the Wayfarer trilogy by Becky Chambers, which is Record of a Spaceborn Few. I absolutely love the first two in the series, so that's a long way to a small angry planet and a closed and common orbit. I just love how she deals with this question of otherness, of different races and aliens and gender and what it means to be family. So when that third book came out, I immediately bought it, but I actually haven't got around to reading it yet. Maybe also because I'm a little bit worried about actually finishing it and then being done with the series and having this massive book hangover. 
but I really do want to read it, so I really need to get into that. Alright, that's my TBR for September. Please let me know if you're planning to read any of these books or if you have already read them. I would love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. See you next week! Bye!